Okay, so we are talking about dissolution. Tell me when, what do you mean by dissolution? Okay, firm is getting closed. And what are the reasons why the firm gets closed or dissolved? It can be dissolution by mutual agreement or dissolution by notice or maybe a partner has died. It is dissolved by the court or it is compulsory dissolution. Okay, so these are the ways uh, why or these are the modes of dissolution. So when you're going to do dissolution, there are two accounts that you need to know and prepare. First is which account? Realization account. And second is which account? Partners capital account. Yes? Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Now try to recall the steps of dissolution. What is step number one of dissolution? Okay, so first is you have to empty the balance sheet. So when you're emptying the balance sheet, the first thing you have to write the opening balance of partner's capital account. Then you write the opening balance of cash bank account. Opening balance of cash bank account will be in which account? Cash bank account. Are you with me? Okay, after this, all the remaining assets are there will come over on the realization account debit side. Yeah. All the remaining liabilities are there will come on the realization account credit side as sundry liabilities. And this will be as sundry assets. Are you with me? Please remember if you have provision for doubtful debts, this provision for doubtful debts will also come over here. If you have debtors given in your balance sheet, debtors is say 20,000. Provision for doubtful debts is 2,000. So you will write 2,000 provision for doubtful debts here and debtors over here. Are you with me? So all the remaining assets will come over here. All the remaining liabilities will come over here. Another thing you need to remember when I'm talking about all remaining liabilities that means we are talking about outsiders' liabilities. So if we have Mr. A loan, he is not outsider. So this will not come. If we have A's wife loan, so it will come. Are you with me? Okay. Other than this, what do we do to empty the balance sheet? No. We will have some undistributed profits. So undistributed profits will be given to the partners. It will be distributed amongst the partners in all, in all ratio. This is like general reserves, workman compensation fund or any undistributed profits. If you have undistributed loss, it will be distributed where? On the debit side. With this, we empty the balance sheet. So in the balance sheet, opening balance of cash bank, opening balance of partner's capital account, undistributed profits here, undistributed losses over here. Yeah, all the remaining assets here, all the remaining liabilities here. If goodwill is also given in the balance sheet, it will come over here. Okay, you do not distinguish between good tangible and tangible asset, you are emptying the balance sheet, so you empty. Are you with me? Sure? Okay. Then I have my assets over here. I can do two things to my assets. I can either sell my assets, so I can get cash bank, or the partner can take over assets, so I will write partner's capital account. Two things can happen. You can either sell your assets or your partner can take over. Are you with me? If you sell your assets, then you will write cash bank and all the assets that you've sold, you'll write the name below it. Yeah? 
it is your credit and it will be well debit so this is selling the assets hmm if the asset is taken over by partner so it is your credit where a debit partner's capital account There's nothing else that will come on the credit side. Okay, you have all your sundry liabilities. Provision for doubtful debts. Do not forget. If you're selling the assets, so whatever is mentioned, only sell that. Don't do anything extra. Whatever is mentioned, only sell that. And if the partner is taking over the assets, so he will write partner's capital account. With me? Okay. Now for liabilities. What can happen? You can pay liabilities. Okay. You can pay liabilities or partners can pay liabilities. If partners is paying liabilities, so I will say partners capital account. If we are paying the liabilities, so I will say cash bank. I'm repeating. If we are paying the liabilities, so I will say cash bank. If partners are paying the liabilities, so I will say partners capital. So all those liabilities that we are paying, you should bifurcate and write it below cash bank. Remember one thing, we will sell only those assets which is told in the question. But liabilities told or not told, we have to pay. Okay, so even if we are told or even if we are not told, we have to pay the liabilities. Now, if I'm paying through cash, so it is their debit, where credit? Cash man credit. Okay, and if partners is paying, so it is your debit, where credit? Yeah? Okay. Most of the time in dissolution, they will ask you to write journal entry. So come on, give me the first journal entry. First we write opening balances. There is no journal entry to write the opening balances. Okay, then we distribute the undistributed profits or losses. Can you give me the journal entry for this? This is partner's capital account credit. Partner's capital account credit, undistributed profit, whatever is the name debit. Are you with me? Then we distribute the undistributed loss. Journal entry for this. Partners capital account debit to undistributed loss. Okay. There is one more thing that I forgot to mention to you all. If any partner's loan is there in balance sheet, what do you do? You will pay it. What will you do? You will pay it. What will be the journal entry for this? Why we don't take partner's loan in the realization? Cash bank credit because you're going to pay it. And partner's loan, debit. Remember, please write it. Remember this and write it. If any partner's loan is there in your balance sheet, pay it. Paid, partner's loan debit, cash bank credit. Please write it. Are you with me? Okay. So first step is you write down the opening balance of partner's capital account, cash bank account, no entry for it. Distribute the undistributed profits. Partners capital credit, this debit. Distribute the undistributed loss. Partners capital account debit, undistributed loss credit. Then remaining assets over here. If partners loan is there, you pay it, right? Yes. What is the entry for that? Partners loan debit. To cash bank. Are you with me? Okay. 
then remaining assets you transfer over. What is the entry for it? Realization to sundry assets. To sundry assets, you will write the name of those assets. Okay. Transfer liabilities. What is the journal entry? Liabilities name debit to realization account. Okay, after that, what do you do? Sell of the asset. Yeah. What is the journal entry to sell the asset? Re see properly selling the asset. You sell the asset here. Cash bank account credit. Uh, sorry, debit to realization account. You can sell the asset. Or partners will take over the asset. What is the entry when partners, partners are taking? Capital. Partners capital debit to realization. You will see the account where it is. So that account will be accordingly written. Then you pay liabilities. See? Realization debit, cash bank credit. Are you with me? Partners take over the liabilities. Realization account, debit to partner's capital account. Then you will get realization profit. If it is a realization profit, it will come over here. If it is a realization loss, it will come over here. Are you with me? Okay, fine. Keep this in mind. Let's put. So we are on uh, a specimen paper question of 23-24. Yasir, please read the question. For the following, I'll read later. All partners are agreed that the process of realization at the time of dissolution will be accomplished by son. That means entire process of dissolving the firm, who's going to do? Son is going to do. For which he will be paid 10,000 along with the amount of expenses which amounted to 2% of total value realized from assets on dissolution. What does this mean? This means that son is going to be paid 10,000 for doing the dissolution process. And apart from that, 2% of total value realized from assets on dissolution. Assets were sold for 12 lakh. And the remaining were taken over by creditors at a valuation of 300,000. You have to pass journal entry. Think about it. So they say that your realization expenses is how much? I am going to pay son a remuneration of 10,000. Yes. And I am going to pay him realization expense. How much realization expense? It is 2% of total value realized. Are you with me? What is the value realized? Some assets were realized for how much? 12 lakh. Yeah, and remaining were taken over by creditors for how much? 3 lakh. So 2% of how much? 2% of 15 lakh. 2% of 15 lakh is how much? Now see 10% is 1 lakh 50,000. 1% 1 is 15,000. Okay? Are you with me? So 2% of 15 lakh will be 15,000 into 2. Because 15,000 is 1%. So 30,000 is given to son. 
This is for realization expense and 10,000 is his remuneration. Are you with me? What journal entry will you pass? How much is given to son? 10,000 plus 30,000. Okay. Total is given to son for what? Realization expenses. Realization expense comes on which side? Debit side. Whom is it given to? Son. Okay. Why? Son is going to do the dissolution process, right? So are we paying cash or son is going to pay the cash? See, he will be paid. He will be paid. So are we paid? Did we pay him? No. So if we pay him, what will we write? If we pay him, we write cash back. But if we are going to pay him, what will we write? To whose capital account will we write? To son's capital account. Yeah? What is the journal entry? How much? Now see over here. Realization account debit to son's capital account. Okay. 10,000 is his salary for dissolution and 30,000 is realization expenses. So this amount is payable to son. Are you with me? Let's read the next one. Deferred advertisement expenditure account appeared in the books. That means deferred advertisement expenditure. It's an undistributed profit or undistributed loss. Undistributed loss. Given to where? Which side? Okay. So partner's capital account. Debit to which ratio? Old profit sharing ratio. So see over here. Partner's capital account debit to deferred advertisement suspense account. Are you with me? I'll go ahead. I'm not doing the calculation now. Okay. Come on, do the next one. Read this. Try. There was talk of how much? That means we had stock of 120,000. Are you with me? Are you with me? Sure. We had 120,000 stock. Kiran took away how much? One third. So one third of 120,000 is how much? One third of 120,000 is? 40,000. So 40,000 stock is taken over by Kiran at how much valuation? At 25% discount. So how much will it be? 30,000. So Kiran is taking over stock of 40,000 at 30,000. So come on, how will I write this over here? How will I write it over here? What will I write? By Kiran's capital account. In the bracket, what will I write? Stop. Are you with me? How much amount will I write? 30,000. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Out of stock of 120,000, Kiran took over one third of stock. And 50% of remaining stock. Now what is remaining stock? Remaining stock is how much? Two so what is 2 by 3? Calculate, calculate. 80,000. 50% of remaining stock. That means what? Was took over by creditor. 
फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द रिमेनिंग स्टॉक दैट मीन फोर्टी थाउजेंड का स्टॉक वॉज टेकन ओवर बाई होम क्रेडिटर सो ये any asset is taken over by any liability i'm repeating again if any asset is taken over by any liability there is no entry they get set off okay i'm repeating again what is the rule if any asset is taken over by a liability no entry so creditor was of 30000 he took over the remain for 50% of the stock in full settlement of this claim now balance stock what is balance stock how much think by 25000 Forty thousand was taken yeah, by Kiran. Forty thousand was taken by creditor. Balance stock is forty thousand. It is realized how much? Read the question, Kalan. Read the question. Don't irritate me. Realized how much? Twenty-five thousand. What will I write over here? Realize means what? It was sold for twenty five thousand. So what will I write over here? By bank. What will be the journal entry for this? Bank account debit to realization account. So this part has three question three parts. Okay, look over here the three journal entries for this over here. First part. What is the first part? First is what? Of this third one, what is the first part? He then took over the stock. What is the journal entry? Second part, second no entry, third sold entry. Are you with me? Come on, go to the next one. Read, read, try. Let's read. Outstanding bill of. For repairs and renewals, was settled through an unrecorded asset ten thousand, balance being settled in cash. So that means you had a realization account. Understand properly. Outstanding bill will be over here. Okay, how much? Outstanding bill will be over here three thousand. Okay, unrecorded asset is over here. How much? Unrecorded asset is over here ten thousand. Okay, fine. So outstanding bill for repairs and renewal was settled through unrecorded asset. That means this was settled amongst each other. Huh? So this three thousand wiped off, and from here three thousand wiped off. So remaining is how much? Yeah, are you with me? Yeah. Okay. Balance being settled in cash means what? Means that the remaining amount of unrealized assets, remaining amount of unrealized assets received in cash. What is the remaining amount? Seven thousand. What is the remaining amount? You had this bill. You had this asset. You set it off. Set it off. That means three thousand goes from here. Three thousand goes from here. 
seven thousand you are going to receive in cash. What will be the journal entry? Yeah, realization credit, cash bank, debit. So look at this journal entry. Cash bank, debit, realization credit. Are you with me? I'm not doing specimen paper question now. Let's do a past paper question. Okay. Go to the 30th. Go to the 30th. Come on. Realization account I'm putting for your reference. Dissolution expenses paid by the firm. Paid by the firm means we paid cash. Mm -hmm. What will be the journal end? Mm -hmm. Where did side the dissolution expense comes? Mm -hmm. Yes, sundry assets. Yes, sundry liabilities. Yes, sundry assets is sold by cash bank or PCL. Here the liabilities are paid by cash bank or PCL. If the liabilities is paid by the firm, it will come under cash bank. That means the dissolution expenses. If the dissolution expenses is paid by the partner, so it will come over. Okay? Come on. Dissolution expenses paid by the firm. What will be the journal entry? Hmm? If dissolution expenses is paid by the partner, what will be the journal entry? Are you with me? Okay, fine. Read the next one. You realize 2,200? You realize 2,200? That means you received 2,200. From what? Unrecorded asset. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Unrecorded asset. So what will be the journal entry? You're going to receive money. You're going to receive money. Receive money, that means cash bank. Journal entry. Cash bank debit to realization account. What will you say? Unrecorded assets realized. What will you say? Are you with me? Sure you're with me? Okay, fine. Read the next one. And paid to the firm 40,000. Come on, let's see over here. This would be your realization account. Are you with me? Okay, fine. Creditor was how much? This is sundry liabilities. Okay. Building is how much? Building is 180,000. That means creditor has accepted building of 180,000. So this 140 is set off over here for 140. Yeah? And the creditor has paid how much? 40,000. That means this building realized 40,000? Yeah? When asset is set against liability, no entry. Yeah? yeah? Asset is set against liability, no entry. Building realize how much? Building realize how much? What will be the entry? Yeah, no? cash bank. Building receive money. So realization credit, cash bank debit. Are you with me? Yeah. Come on. Next one. Loss on realization. Loss on realization. Profit on realization will come where? Well. Profit on realization will come here. Loss on realization will come here. So realization account. 
No, no, see, realization account. Realization account. Credit. Realization account. Two partners' capital account loss will be distributed in the ratio of two is to one. So realization account, credit, partners' capital account, debit. It will be in the ratio of two is to one. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you sure you are with me? Yeah. Do you know the concern thing about realization expense? What is realization expense? Expenses on dissolution. It is the responsibility of whom? Hmm? Okay, fine. Come on. You always have to, when they ask you to pass journal entries, just keep in mind the format. Suman and Rajan were partners sharing profits and losses. Come on. The firm dissolved past journal entries for following transaction after various assets and third party liabilities have been transferred. Dissolution expense paid by the firm. Dissolution expenses paid by the firm. What will you do? To cash bank. Okay. Realization debit to cash bank. Fine. Rajan has given a loan 60,000 to the firm, which he accepted to pay 58,000 in full settlement. What will be the entry? No, 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 no. Who is Rajan? Rajan is a partner. Partner's loan, will it come in realization account? Partner's loan will never come in realization account. So what will be the journal entry? Rajat's loan debit, how much? See the question. How much is Rajat's loan? How much you paid him? How much you paid him? So what will be 2000? 2000 will be our loss. This we will say to realization account. Okay. This 2000 will be the loss. This we will say to realization account. Firm had a debit balance of 40,000 in the profit and loss account on that date. Debit balance of 40,000. Debit balance means this side. Yeah. So, sorry, 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 sorry. Firm had a debit balance of 40,000 in profit or loss account. So this was the balance sheet, asset. They had profit or loss account, debit balance of 40,000. What is this? Undistributed loss. Yeah, what is the journal entry for this? Partners capital account debit to profit or loss account. Okay, fine. In which ratio? Old ratio. Profit on realization, where will it come? Realization account, debit, partner's capital account. In which ratio you will distribute between Suman and Rajan? Old ratio. Old ratio. Come on, five. Go first, next one. Read first. Creditor 70,000 accepted furniture of 150,000. Come on, tell. This is realization account. Where will the creditor be? Which side? Creditor will be at which side? Yeah? Furniture will be on which side? Furniture will be on which side? Furniture? 150,000. Creditor has accepted furniture. So furniture? 70,000 set off. Balance is how much? Okay. 
and paid to the firm eighty thousand. That means my furniture realized how much eighty thousand. What will I write over here? How much eighty thousand? Are you with me? Okay, fine. Read one. Bank loan was settled along with interest. Okay, so ninety nine thousand was paid. Okay, now tell me, bank loan is it bank balance? It's loan. So that means it is outside liabilities. Yeah. If bank loan is outside liabilities, it will come over here on the credit side. Hmm. We had to pay ninety thousand, but we paid how much? But we paid how much? <laughs> so when we pay, we write over here. Yes. Yeah. And here what else will I write? Bank loan. Okay. Ninety-nine thousand. What is the journal entry? Realization account debit to cash bank account. Being bank loan paid with interest. Are you with me? Realization expense paid by partner. Journal entry. Mudit's capital account. How much? Loss on realization. Which side will it come? Credit side. So realization will be, and the partner's capital will be debit. So loss on realization, partner's capital debit, realization credit. Are you with me? Okay, fine. Uh, I'll pause. Where are you?